Hello my loves, this is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com back again with another moment for chronic wellness. Thanks for being here. I am talking about the things that I learned in 2019 and wrapping up this series on learning. I want to talk about um, how easy it is to get stuck in the groove of really cataloging all that is wrong. So you heard me yesterday tell you just a short list of new things that had come up for me and sort of the blues that I was having about some new symptoms and a new injury. And it is important to acknowledge our own experience. I am not talking about the fact that, that, we, that we should not do that and that we shouldn't be able to do that with our friends and our loved ones and ourself and the learning for me again is about the practice of gratitude and that it can ameliorate and bolster and help support my awareness about how good i have it so at the end of the day or the beginning of the day, or maybe in the middle of the day when you're just feeling like shit. Um, the practice of counting my blessings. You know, when it's so easy to rattle off all of these diagnoses or all of the problems or all of the ways in which that family member or that friend or this situation has failed us, I find it really centering and freeing and joyful to instead turn my attention to all of the immeasurable, way, immeasurable ways that, and some of them are measurable, that's not fair, all of the measurable and immeasurable ways that I have got it so right and so lucky and so privileged from the fact that I can swallow to the fact that I have a roof over my head, to things like I'm in touch with what brings me joy. And most days I can practice some small part of it. And, um, and I find that being in touch with my gratitude helps grow and increase the way that I experience it and helps me put my focus and attention there rather than putting my focus and attention on how bad the pain is in that moment or how bad the grief is in that moment or how significant I'm experiencing loss um, or how severe my limitations are. So counting my blessings, adding them up, being clear about how good I've got it is absolutely one of the practices and learnings that I will carry with me from this year to the next and hopefully to the next and the next beyond that. So if there's one that'll make my list every year, I hope it's this one. And indeed, I'm very grateful for you so thanks for being here. Thank you for tuning in. I have got some big stuff planned for the year ahead, so I hope that you will continue to be here. I need subscribers both on my YouTube channel and to my podcast. So if you haven't done that already, I would really be grateful if you would take the time to hit the subscribe button. And while you're there, leave a comment or post a review and uh, let me know what you're thinking about or what you'd like to hear from me about. And until we're together again, thank you, thank you, thank you, and be well.